Welcome back to another video. My name is Jay Siemens. Today we're with Josh McFadden, the other half of Catch and Cook. What's Catch and Cook, you might ask? It's, uh, it's a passion project. It's, uh, it's a company Josh and I started almost a year ago, last August. We got some spices, we got some batter. What are we doing today, Josh? Which video is this? We're doing crawfish? We're doing crawfish. Okay, we're doing a crawfish boil. We've got this beautiful trap right here. It's got a, a hole. <laughs> and uh, what we've done is we've rigged up this here trap so we can get some cool footage of this. Uh, we, we checked out the way that the GoPro is gonna, I don't know. It's gonna be, that's, that's gonna be nuts. That's the crawfish cam. The crawfish cam. So we're gonna throw this thing in the water, put a little bait in here and uh, catch some crawfish so we can have a crawfish boil with some corn and some Unreal. sausages and good stuff. Guys, Lake of the Woods is overrun by crayfish and there's an, a new type. I think normally they're green crayfish that are, that are, are original to this area. Original, that's not the term, Local. native. Native, native to this yeah. area. There has been a rusty crayfish introduced, which are invasive, which is, means they're not home. They're, a lot of people would say the weed growth and just the lake as a whole has changed since uh, rusty crayfish made it. And rusty crayfish are big. I messaged my buddy who's a conservation officer to make sure everything was legit and to figure out you know, what the stipulations are. Um, there's stipulations on the size of your trap, on the size of your net. We are gonna use, obviously, a trap today. We are allowed to keep 36 crawdads per person, which should be lots. Yeah, it's a huge, um, huge meal. That's by non-angling. If we were doing an angling method, which we might try yet, like a hot dog on the end of a line, um, then you can keep as many as you want. So uh, I don't think we need more than 36 per person, but um, yeah, pretty much, I think what we need to do is it's one trap per person. Um, I got a label maker. You need to have your name and your number on it. And probably the biggest thing you need to know in the regulations is they cannot be transported over land. So we are at, Sam's cabin where I've been living for the summer and we can't bring them somewhere else. We can't bring them into Kenora because you know, there's a chance to get into other waterways and, and whatever, they're invasive, right? Um, so they can't be transported. We're gonna be cooking them, boiling them right here. And I'm excited because I've never tried crayfish before, but anyways, we're gonna uh, get this trap ready to go and uh, we'll show you we'll show you the process. This is cool. This is like, it feels like deadliest catch. Like when they- Oh, it does. These things, they're intimidating. Those big, that big one's pretty intimidating. Hey guys, this might be a quick, nice little time to talk about our all-terrain spice. And this is salty, it's savory, it's smoky, it's got some chipotle seasoning in it, so mm. it's, it's got that, it's got that zang, it's got that heat, and this is perfect for our crawfish boil. So once we fill this trap, we're crossing our fingers and hoping we do that, we're going to take a big pot of water, we've got some corn, we've got some brats, we're putting that all in a pot, mm. boiling it all together with the crawdaddies, seasoning it with this, and once those crawdaddies are, am I in the shot? No, I once, just blocked you. Once the crawdaddies <laughs> are out of the pot, we're gonna shell them. The tail meat is where all that beautiful juicy meat is. So we're gonna take the tail meat out and dip them in butter with a little bit of this, which is our whiteout seasoning. It's got some garlic in it. There's a little bit of parsley. It's kind of this like buttery, it goes really well with butter. It's got this creamy sort of texture to it. So we'll season that. And I think this is going to be a really good crawdaddy smash. It's something unique. Like I, I haven't heard of too many people eating crayfish on Lake of the Woods. All right, I'm not gonna show this to you, but we are legit, we're illegal. Um, we're gonna throw some walleye scraps in. Josh, you wanna, you wanna load this baby up? Fill this thing up with a little bit of walleye juice. We also checked the, um, which camera am I talking to? I'm talking to the, You're talking I'm to talking the, the trap. When, uh, yeah, we, we checked out the information too and we're allowed to put some walleye scraps in here as well and use it for bait. Good use so of we're them. we're doing that. Yeah, this guy, fill it up with a couple guts. That's probably a lot, or what? What do you think? Yeah, maybe one more. Another carcass? Okay, we're going for the big ones. The research we read said fish was some of the best attractants. Okay. Is that locked, good? Locked and loaded. Beauty. Oh yeah. All right, we're headed through the woods. Okay, so. I think we try wiggling into the sand a little bit. Yeah. We saw a whole mess of crayfish here. I don't know if we want to go on this like weed line. There's some rocks over here, a little bit of structure. Right here is good. I'm just gonna go nice and gentle. Okay. I think that's good. You tie it off to the weed there. Just make sure you tie off to those weeds. While we wait, I'm gonna uh, talk about Josh's new series called Fed by Fire. Can we talk about it? Yeah, we can talk about it. We can it. talk about it? Sure. What's, what's Fed by Fire? So Fed by Fire is a, it's a cinematic journey with yours truly. We have a little bit of a series going. We've got a YouTube channel going, um, some social media stuff in there too, but I, go out into the wilderness, I forge things, I find ingredients, whether it's meat, wild game fish, yeah. uh, 
forage goods, fruit, vegetables, all these things from the forest and uh, put it all together in a really cool, unique way. Make some dishes that you guys get to interact with and see, don't get to taste it. And uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. What, what I've noticed about this series, Josh has been working behind the scenes on it for a while and has started leaking some stuff. It's so tough to sometimes get the cinematic stuff and to hit that, that high quality of cinematography when you're by yourself, but he's teamed up with my buddies Ian and Caleb and they are just like wizards behind the camera. So it's one of the most beautifully shot cooking shows I've ever seen. I am not a chef, but I'm creating new things with food every day. I get restless when I'm stuck inside. So the idea of working in a restaurant, hidden away from people, making the same dishes over and over again, sounds more like a nightmare than fulfilling my passion. Like how good does that look? There's nothing more exciting than the adventure of finding wild food outdoors and creating a new dish in the very place those ingredients were found. Cooking over an open fire is a battle. The struggle of managing the flames and the infusion of wood smoke makes the dish that much more memorable. Sharing this experience and passing on what I've learned gives this all meaning. Catching fish, and it's fun. Dude, this thing's got me freaked out. These memories will stick with me forever. Like a knock on my brain, reminding me that this is it. This is why I'm here. This is fed by fire. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll link, mean, I'll link a, that below. Been, yeah, it's been a long time coming. I mean, I, I cook a lot and... Uh, and he likes to cook? Yeah, I like to cook. I've been doing some things, um, you know, content-wise in the food space for a while, and this is sort of my uh, my ability to flex that creative muscle and make yes. some cool food outside with wild stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right, we'll see how many crayfish from the trap. Yeah. Should be good by now. We're Should be checking full. now. No, we're <laughs> so we're gonna let that we're gonna let that thing soak. I'm assuming we're giving it at least an hour. Yeah. Last night we had about an hour in the water and it was full. I feel like they're maybe a little more active at night, but we're gonna put that to the test and yeah. hopefully an hour is gonna give us some some crowd. And we'll clear it out multiple times if we need to. Yeah, exactly. We're just gonna fill a pail and try to get our limit anyway, and that way we're allowed to sort of sift through the small ones and the big ones and keep the bigger ones because we yeah. want the big ones to eat. So there you go. Yeah. Welcome back. What are we doing, Sam? catch crayfish by angling all right all right so we wanted to just make sure that we were following all the regulations we're not totally sure if we can use a piece of walleye um, as bait so we have some breakfast sausage so all you got to do is they equip me with a prison shank here <laughs> and uh, you just make a couple slices I think I'm going for like a strip yeah I want I want this uh, oh, you man. think it's out of aggression that they hit it or like what? they're gonna I think they're like upset that there's something in their way because they're such an aggressive species Yeah. Fish? Crustacean? They're so aggressive, so I'm, I'm going for like, I like that little corkscrew action right there. That's a technique I prefer. <laughs> and uh, we're All just right. gonna go dangle. While we wait Proud for the dangle. <laughs> First lift. Get it. <laughs> Josh, go. Yeah. There's there we our go. first one. Our first daddy dangler. You're gonna fling them on my head. Look out now, coming in hot. Woo. <laughs> He's mad. Hey. Yeah. Look at the size of that toad. Oh, this is epic. Oh, look how upset he is. Oh, no way. We're back, checking the trap. 
What do you think, Sam? How many crawdaddies? I don't know. I don't I didn't see where you guys placed it. Josh, you're not held. Yeah. Alright, Sam, you can pull the trap. I think the trap is loaded, Sam. Ooh. It's a pretty there, good haul. Gathering. Alright, we got a couple, not the biggest, but we're adding adding to the stash. Well, Josh, you think we got some crawfish cam action? Man, I hope so. There's uh there's some nice little crawdads in there. This guy's a little small, but I mean, he still eat that. That guy's too small. This is where you get yourself in a real gnarly scenario here. That guy. Cool. You could eat that one. It is so weird seeing these fish guts moving like this. Yeah, they're alive. There's a lot of crawdaddies in there. Let that guy pinch you just to see. No. No, just a little guy. Try it. What do you think? Hey, not so bad. No? You know what? You let another one? Would you let Look one at this thing. That guy's trying to make, make his way out. Yeah. All right, well, we'll reset the trap and keep going. Well, Josh. Well, Sam. Well, Jay. What do we got? We got crayfish. We got some crayfish. We did some crawdaddy Look fishing. Oh my gosh. Jailbreak. We got a whole mess of crawdads. Probably like 60, yeah. maybe? Yeah, there's a lot in there. So, and there's some like, some big ones. So we got some giant crawfish. Show me a big one. We need a thumbnail. This is a giant. Oh, wow. Is that a lobster? First step is going to be to boil these things and get them looking all red. We'll yeah. take some cool pictures and we're doing just a classic, classic crawfish boil lakeside. Are you going to try one? I'll try one, yeah. Yeah. So we're seasoning this water. Premium, uh, unfiltered Lake of the Woods water. <laughs> now we got some fresh tap water. <laughs> Gotta get water. some beaver fever. Yeah, we got some fresh tap water here. We're gonna get it boiling. And this, again, this is just to get our water really nice and seasoned. So we've got some whole onions. We're not eating these things. We're just tossing them in. Those will really start to get that water all seasoned up. We've got a handful of bay leaves. Again, this is that classic like crawfish boil aroma and flavor. Poor man's lobster. Just beautiful. Poor man's uh, seasoning here. And let's salt this water up. So we're gonna add a really good amount of campfire salt to this. We want it salty like the salty like the sea. And this is going to add that punchy heat. We'll open up the big side. To get a whole mess of that in there. We're just making a really nice seasoned broth right now to get these guys boiling. So that's it. Once we throw in our crayfish, after this water is boiling, they'll start to turn red. We'll throw our corn in right away with our sausage and that's gonna just mm. cook those up really quick. All right, first batch. Going in. That grass, oh, it's a blast of them. How long do we let them sit till they... Ooh. Look at that sweet color. Oh my goodness, look how red they got. It smells like seafood. Wow! Oh, baby! We're fogging up! Yeah, we're fogging why up the they, lens. Why do they change so red? Give me the science. Oh, uh, it's the, uh... Yep. Photosynthesis. Yeah, this, uh, the chlorophyll in their uh, bones gets all red like that. And our sausage. Chewy! Oh, mama! I'm pretty excited. See how red they turn? This is so cool. Something a little out of my comfort zone, not gonna lie, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. The red color is so cool. This is gonna photograph nicely as well. Well, Josh, they're boiled, they're ready. They're Let's boiled, see. they're ready, they're looking unreal. That's ridiculous. Give them a little drip drip. Josh, you always push me to eat weird things that push me out of my comfort zone. And this is definitely one of those this things. This is one of those things, yep. Cow tongue was probably one of the first times we cooked together. Yeah. And that was weird, but I liked it. Yeah, and you're gonna like these. These are great. What do you think, Sam? It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really cool. It's final step, Josh. Like final steps are we dusted everything with a little bit of all-terrain, get some heat on the outside, and now we've got our whiteout garlic butter going on top. Oh my goodness. That's it. Boom. Josh, how do you eat a crayfish? All right, well, first of all, you take some top down photos. Sick photos first with your cell phone. And then. Go for that big daddy right there. That? That oh one. Oh boy. King, okay. king crab. So, this is it. So, the meat that you yield from these things isn't crazy, 
based on this mass, but you grab the tail, you give it a twist, you twist it right off. And then much like a lobster, you can just give this a little pinch. So it softens up that belly stuff and then yeah. split it open, peel off around that side, pull the little poop line out of there, pull that tail meat right out. And that's, so that's it. it. That's the meat. There you go. And you can dig around in the claws a little bit as well. Yeah. You can dip it in some butter. This is what we're doing. Yeah, we're getting the white out butter dip, some parsley and mm. garlic on there. Josh, even if it's bad, pretend you really like it. The secret is I already ate one off camera. <laughs> you did. And it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, so good. It's just like, just like eating a shrimp. So with these guys, you can break them open with a knife. The claws. But I used a fork. Bust them open. And not all of them are going to have claw meat that's worth getting after. Yeah. But these larger ones, like look at that. Oh yeah. It's totally a good nice. chunk of claw meat. And that can also go into the butter. Get all the shell off there. Give it a little dip. Oh, it's amazing. So good. Secret. All right, Sam. The trick that's done down south too is taking the whole head and yeah. You're not ready sucking for that? the juice out. I mean, it's just salt water with some seasoning in it. So we're not going to be doing a lot of that. <laughs> oh, oh this is... <laughs> Dude, Sam, butter. Everything's good in butter. It's, Insides? Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing bad. It's like just parts of parts of the inside. All right, Sam, let's do it. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. She so likes many, it. So many All right, trying my first crawdad. I'm going for a big one here. Big Billy crawdad. So I just twisted here, Josh. Yep, twist the body from the tail and break it a couple times. There we go. All right, there we got our little crayfish niblet. I'm gonna dip it in some butter, barehanded. That's good. I'm actually impressed that that was gonna taste like mud, to be completely honest. Josh, you keep pushing me to do crazy things and you haven't disappointed me yet. Crazy like a crowd, Dad. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna try, eating crayfish. You need to pick up some catch and cook first. Make sure you're following Josh. Check out Fed by Fire, his new series. And um, go catch yourself some crayfish. See you next time.